Hello, Blue Heron class. I am taking you on a little virtual field trip today. And the boys and I are here at McGregor Park, which is out by trail. It's up by the Lost Creek Lake Dam. And we are out here looking for some fungus today. Well, I am, they're playing. And over here, so the grass has just been mowed. As you can see, there's lines in it from the mower, which makes me a little sad because they've mowed down a lot of mushrooms that were probably growing here. The grass here stays pretty wet. So even though we haven't had a lot of rain, it's still really wet and fungus need a lot of moisture to grow. So here you can see some little mushrooms growing in the grass. And over here you can see some stems. So some mushrooms got mowed down right here. And I just noticed over here to my right, this is what we're here for. There's some much bigger ones. So while we're here, let's just kind of look at the different parts of the mushroom. I'm gonna be careful because I don't know if these are toxic or not. I'm not good with mushrooms. Mr. Bissy could probably tell me what these are. So the mushrooms have a stem, which is pretty obvious here. Oh, this one's kind of been cut by the mower. That actually is great. And then on the underside, they have these gills. See that? They almost look like fish gills. And then we have the cap, which is the top part. And then this is a pretty simple one. Sometimes they'll have like a little a little midway part, like here. These don't seem to have them. So I'm gonna ask Mr. Bissy to watch my video and maybe he can comment and tell us what kind of mushroom this is. So the spores come out of this cap part when the mushroom is kind of ready to do that. So yeah, some interesting mushrooms growing just right here on the lawn at McGregor Park in Trail. So this is a fun little park to come to and play around with your family. They have this cool playground area and a big lawn and picnic tables. And then over there, that direction, there's a nature center, which isn't open right now because of COVID. But when it is open, it's cool. They have um, rangers there who will kind of guide you through some Southern Oregon history and some natural history and things like that. So if we can, it'd be nice to come do a uh, field trip here sometime for real. I'll see if I can find any more, maybe some different type of mushrooms or fungus. And I will put together some more video for you guys. So I just walked back to this big tree back here. It looks like a hemlock tree, maybe just at the other side of the yard here at McGregor Park. And look at that right down here by the roots. There are a lot of mushrooms. So you see there's this part of the tree is very damp and the roots really help to retain moisture here for the fungus, because they need moisture to grow. And so the mushrooms here, look at that, that's cool. The mushrooms here are feeding off of all this decomposing material here on the ground. Because mushrooms can't photosynthesize like this grass can. It doesn't have this green material in it to make energy from the sun. So they get their energy from all this decomposing material. And by doing that, mushrooms often are very helpful because they break down things that the forest or the grass is no longer using. Look at these cute little guys. And they help new things to be able to grow. So they're just kind of part of that circle of life. Ooh, look over here. There's some big guys over here around the back of the tree. So this side of the tree is very shady. 
Like we're here right up at the edge of the forest. So it stays nice and cool back here, which is perfect fungus environment. So these guys are a bit bigger. So again, I'm going to see if Mr. Bissy can watch this video and tell us what kind of mushrooms these are. Or maybe Mr. Joe knows as well. There's some little guys growing right up against the tree. We've got some moss on this tree as well. We live in an area that doesn't have a whole lot of moss. So if you guys can find that on your scavenger hunts, wouldn't that be cool? Look at this. So when it's really wet at this park, you can find tons of mushrooms. So like this type will grow in big giant rings in the grass, but it's been so dry. Look at that. See all this decomposing stuff? That's perfect mushroom food. Here's some gills here that have kind of been split open. Look at those structures in there. Isn't that cool? You can see all this rich, dark dirt in the middle. That's the work of those mushrooms. They break down all these old leaves and grasses and pine needles and things. Even dead little critters like bugs or mice. And uh, they turn it into good soil. They're kind of like little composters. But yeah, neat little organisms the mushrooms are. Okay, well we're going to take a walk down the trails and we're going to see what other plants we can find. Alright, Isaac has found a stick on the trail and what do you think the lighter part is on there, Isaac? A mushroom. I picked this up at the beginning of the trail. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, so it looks like, I'm going to try to get the camera, it looks like there's a bit of fungi that was at one time growing. It looks like it's dead now. Looks yeah. like there was some fungi there no, on that. I think there was a bunch more on this. So not super often, but sometimes you will see fungi around here. More common like up by Portland or Olympia or like up north where it's way wet to see fungus on trees. Every once in a while we see it too. We found another type of fungi. Oh, I've seen that. This is like, like that? this is so cool. What about that? So Cruz found... Oh. Cruz no, found I this did. one. John, John oh, John did. And me. He, we both did. Okay. I showed him and Cruz spot. brought it to me. Ugh. Again, I'm going to have to have Mr. Bissy or Mr. Joe hopefully tell me what this is. Whoa. But look at that. It kind of grows like a shelf. Watery. Yeah. Fungus loves water. That's why you want to keep your feet dry, right? So you don't get the foot fungus. <laughs> That's gross, Mrs. Richardson. Okay. So another cool type of fungus. I did not expect to find this much fungus during a dry autumn in Southern Oregon. So we're gonna keep exploring. What'd you guys find? More fungus? No way, oh my gosh. <gasps> Whoa, whoa, okay. This is like that same kind that Cruz and John found. Look at this, so this is this is growing rings. on an old log. Yeah, it's got these cool rings on it bigger than that are like white and gray and brown red. Let's take it home. Man, that's cool. Should we touch it? Uh, you should be careful about touching fungus unless you know exactly what it is because a lot of fungus is poisonous. You don't want that on your fingers. So I would, we'll just leave it alone. Well, and, it's, take it and it is alive, so we want it, we want it to keep on living because it's part of the ecosystem here. Super cool. Nice find, you guys. Me. Way to go. And there go. Okay, That's... I wasn't going to do any more fungus footage, but we're Whoa. here almost to the end of the trail. And look at these monsters. Cool. Isaac, put your hand next to it so they can see the size. Look at that. It's bigger than ah! Isaac's hand. Okay, can we touch this? Uh, no, I wouldn't. <sighs> I wouldn't. It's so big! So it kind of looks like it kind of starts off like this, like a puffball almost. And then as they grow, they kind of flatten out. So this would be like how they release their spores. They open up and they release the spore. Look at, that Look at all that rot under there. What's a spore? That is good mushroom food. Oh, John just asked what a spore Shh. is. Blue okay. herons, can you tell John what a spore is? Me? That's right, a spore is like a mushroom seed. Oh. 
They have spores instead of seeds. I think I know where the rocks came from. Cool mushrooms. How do you do it? Yeah, look, they have all this dead wood to feed off of. What's a stork? They have all this cool dead wood to feed off of, so that is why these mushrooms are so big and healthy. And you should awesome!